So these are the directions to the video. I'll link the video here in a moment. You are to make a progressive slideshow. The assignment will involve you making a slideshow that reveals slide by slide the top 10 counties in Colorado in terms of the 2010 census. The major emphasis of this exercise is to understand how to implement in the future, as you ever see fit, a progressive slideshow in order to relate certain information. In this exercise, you will present a map of the state that contains its counties and sequentially display the top 10 most populous counties according to the latest census results in 2010. To start this exercise, you need a list of the top 10 counties in Colorado in terms of population, according to the 2010 census. If you do not have that, you certainly may sort this file. When you open that file up, you'll, it'll probably say, well, it will say right here, view only in a green button. To circumvent that, you need to work off a copy. So I provide you the data and you just have to make a copy of it. Close the original and you're here with the copy that you have now. It says sort the population to identify the top 10. <laughs> sort by population to identify the top 10 in population. Okay, that's one way to put it. But you scroll across both A and B. So what you do is you click on the letter A and drag across to B. That highlights both columns. And you want to sort the data. And in my class, you always go to data sort range. Don't ever use these. Just do sort range because you're always going to use data that has a header row, county and total population in this point. And you want to sort by uh, total population. And you want the largest to the smallest and that's called descending order. So click on that. Z to A. Largest to smallest. And now you'll see here we have now identified, uh, excuse me right there, uh, the top 10 counties uh, in terms of population from the most recent census that's been released. It's always nice to make a chart. I just almost always do with it with any data I have that can be quantified that way. And so I'm gonna quickly make a column chart. And if I look over here, whoops, excuse me, click over here and drag across. Um, I would always rename this. Uh, I would just maybe copy this part right here. And then double click here and paste that in. And so here they are. Uh, the lowest one is what? 150, excuse me. 159,000. Uh, you can change the scale. Again, you don't have to do any of this. I'm just showing you. And you can say, well, the minimum value is 150,000. There's no value lower than that. And you can see it's a little bit more dramatic now. And so anyway, they're now identified. You don't turn this file in, but you needed this data right here. You needed to know the order of the 10 most populous counties. Now that you have that, you're going to open a presentation file, and that's the next step that you'll be shown. So the next thing you do is you open up a new uh, slideshow, and you can get there by going to uh, slides.new and you want to name that file something appropriate you can actually name it the same name as your spreadsheet and at this point you want to give it a title and bring in a map of the counties so in that new slideshow give it an appropriate name and on the first page for the title, give it top 10 Colorado counties, population 2010. Put your name and the term. And down here in a separate text box, which you insert by using that tool, uh, provide us the source of where you got this data. And that was from the spreadsheet that was provided. 
you're going to add another slide. And on this slide, this is where you bring in the ma uh, blank map of the Colorado counties. And so if you go to the directions, let's see if I can find those. You want to come down. Here again, what I'm talking about what you need on that page is a map that's found on this page. You could uh, find a map elsewhere. If you find a better one, that's fine. Um, what you want to do, if you want to use this one, is go here. And if you scroll down a bit, we're going to use this map right here. And if you right click on this, you can say copy image. Then you can go back to your uh, slideshow, paste that in and get that centered and also bring in the URL where you got this and it can be that information can be very small if you'd like and that's this guy right here copy that go back to your slideshow and in a text box draw that out paste that in select all you can make it pretty small and I just need it down in here somewhere. So this is the second slide. And what you want to do now is duplicate this slide and now sh and then show us the 10th uh, largest county in Colorado. And to duplicate that, you go to edit. Well, it's selected over here and say duplicate. And now you're going to draw upon this. And I believe that's where the next movie picks up. So to do this part, to Pueblo is your 10th largest county. And so what you do is you take the polyline tool, which is right here, and you can zoom in if you want. Let's do that first. Yep. All right, I'm in Pueblo. Go back to the polyline tool. And you want to click and let up, click and let up. And you want to draw over this county. It does not need to be perfect, believe you me. And when you do that, it, it covers up the whole thing. You need to make the fill semi-transparent. So in order to do that, you go to the fill color property and you want to go down to custom. And you want to make it semi-transparent. So you want the transparency slider about there. Move this to what color you want. Um, I'll try uh, a blue here and hit OK. So now I can see the county again, and that's what we want. We do need to add what order this is. This is the 10th largest county, and the largest city in Pueblo is Pueblo. So take a text tool, draw out number 10. Oh, the alignment's off, so let me just fix that real quick. That's better. Let's see. Uh, that looks like a pretty good size. Let's uh, highlight all this, make it bold, Command-B. I think I'll make it white so it shows up a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Maybe go down just one or two sizes. And the largest city is Pueblo. What I can do is copy paste that uh, text box and just type in Pueblo. Make the box a little wider. And something like this. Zoom back out. And this is the slide. So we go from here, and the next slide shows up. Hey, this is the 10th largest county, and it happens, the Pueblo County happens to have a town called Pueblo. That's the largest town, and it's the 10th largest county. Here's the trick. Ignore these other files. This is from a previous attempt. So now I only have these three slides. Ignore these, four and five, and now the others. And now I need to make a duplicate of this so I can then do Weld County, which is number nine. Let me show you that. So you, while it's selected over here, you go to Edit and say Duplicate. You could also do Command-D or Control-D if you're on a non-Mac. And that puts me on a fourth slide, which is a duplicate of the third slide. And now I'm going to do Weld. So here's a trick. So I'm going to try to get the same shade that I did on Pueblo. I went on Weld. So what you do is you take the Polyline tool and draw over Weld. You may have to, you may have to leave Broomfield alone a bit maybe a little shading here of a weld so I'm going to stop here go up here go over here there there and then back up so it's not perfect but we'll get the idea and that's what we want now this is a really good trick to know how to do I want 
So I want this shape to look, okay, I drew this. Now I want this box, this shape, to have this quality of color fill. Here's how you do that. Click on the fill that you want to copy. So I want this to go onto this. So I select that and then I come over here to paint format. This tool, click on it. And now I can move my mouse over here and with the selection part, I click on this and it absorbs that same input or same fill color. All right. So now this is number nine and the largest town is Greeley. So what I can do is take this guy, copy paste him, move it up here and change that to Greeley. Doesn't quite fit, just make your box wider and especially spell really right. And it's number nine, so I'll grab this guy, copy, paste, and move him up. You can use the arrow keys, as you see. And this is number nine. And so what you do is you progress through this slideshow like this. So now that I have this one, and again, ignore what's five and six here, that's another file, or another attempt. I can come now here, duplicate that one. After every county, duplicate it. Now you can do the eighth largest county. So I'm going to erase these and show you a final product here. This is one I did earlier. So it begins with the title page. And then I have this source file of, or excuse me, a blanks file here. You can delete source if you want to on the subsequent pages as long as it's on this first one we're fine so i do pueblo and now i can hit the next slide and there's weld and i can go through all these counties this way and that's what we want you to do all right all the way down to the largest county in colorado el paso so that's the assignment uh, when you've got it all done, uh, you should see all the cities there, or excuse me, the, the, all 10 counties uh, on my slide 12, which I'm not going to click on. And uh, that's the progressive slideshow. So what's nice about this and what you want to notice when you're doing this is that the map does not move. So when I go through my slides, that map's not moving. Okay, that's what I'm wanting. Thank you very much.